Nicholas isn't going to do this. They're, they're not listening. They didn't come to the Tea Party on January 13th when we went there to remind them, hey, you work for us. Now, Senator Kittleman went. Delegate O'Donnell went. Senator Kittleman is trying to pry open the committee room doors so that we can see the backroom deals that career politicians are making. Delegate O'Donnell is trying to pass a taxpayer bill of rights. But the rest of them just think we're fools. They say one thing down here, and they do something else entirely different up there behind those closed committee doors. So the career politicians aren't going to change. We need new blood in Annapolis. And that is why tonight I am declaring for the Maryland State Senate. So let me carry your flag. I will go to serve you. Now, we have a detailed platform of action plans that will have direct impact on our community in these areas. And each one has been carefully designed with a specific objective and short, mid, and long-term impacts without increasing the deficit. We know how to get Maryland back to work, which is the best social program. And that's by growing the economy, not by skillfully pouring money from one bucket into another. Now, here's what I know. If you have been in Annapolis and politics since Gerald Ford was president, you are a career politician. And career politicians are out of touch. If uh, the SEIU is your single biggest contributor, you might be representing Baltimore, but you're not representing us, and you are out of touch. Right. If you vote with O'Malley 75% of the time, you are out of touch. <laughs> say you support something, but never get anything done, then you are out of touch. And we are done with you. Now, this is a grassroots campaign. My opponent may have the support of Steny Hoyer, but we have the support of our neighbors. He's run 12 campaigns, and we're just untrained patriots. But so were the Founding Fathers. <laughs> we are going to ignite the next generation of activists by bringing hundreds of new people into the greatest human experiment of all time, American politics. <laughs> People around the country are energized like never before. Business, as usual, is over. We have seen it happen in Virginia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. Well, now it's our time. This is our moment, our opportunity. We are going to win here and now because we have to, and we're going to win because of you. So tonight, let's each commit to bring 10 new friends, families, and neighbors to join this fight. Let's show them that this failed establishment doesn't have the power. The power comes from we the people. We're the power for this great nation and this great state. We know how to grow jobs, we know how to grow our community, and we know how to balance a budget. So go out there, find 10 people who are ready to join us, who are ready to work. When you talk to them, ask. If you know someone who's lost their job or worries about losing their job, then work with Walt. If you want action in the community, 
then work with Wall. If you're angry about taxes and spending, then work, work with, with Wall. Well, when Benjamin Franklin left the Constitutional Convention, a woman asked him, so what have you given us, sir? And his answer was, a republic, if you can keep it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our campaign to repair and reclaim that republic. So tonight, I'm asking for your support, your energy, and your vote. Thank you very much.